Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to install the Windows subsystem for Android, the Amazon App Store, and the first Android app on Windows 11. After so much delay, Microsoft is finally making the support for Android apps available for Windows 11 users. The preview of the platform is available on the beta channel for users in the United States with devices running Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm processors. Since this is only available in the US for now, you will need to make sure that the computer is set to the United States region. Also, the computer needs to be running the latest build in the VETA channel, and you need to have on the computer 8GB RAM, and virtualization have to be enabled in the computer's motherboard. Okay, so to set up the Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, so to set up the Windows subsystem for Linux, the Amazon App Store, and to install your first app, first we need to check if your computer meets the minimum requirements. And to do that, open the start menu and look for settings. And then open the app. Then go to system and open the about page. Under Windows specifications, make sure that the OS bill is 22,000 and higher. Then make sure that under device specifications, the installed RAM is at least 8 gigabytes or more. Microsoft also says that you need to be in the beta channel. So to do that, you need to go to Windows Update and then go to the Windows Insider program and make sure that under the Choose Your Insider Settings, the VETA channel is configured. If your device is not enrolled in the Windows Insider program, you're going to find the Get Started button and follow the on-screen directions to enroll the computer and select the VETA channel. Then restart the computer and then you can proceed with the steps to install the support for Android apps on Windows 11. The Android apps on Windows 11 also needs to have virtualization enabled in the computer and you need to enable the virtual machine platform on Windows 11 before you can install all the other components. So make sure to check your device manufacturer website for the steps to enable virtualization on the computer and then we need to turn on the virtual machine platform and to do that we're going to open start and then look for turn windows features on and off and open that application and then make sure to check the virtual machine platform option and also i don't know if this is a requirement but you might also want to check the windows hypervisor platform then click ok and restart the computer and the last thing that you need is to have an US based Amazon account to use the Amazon App Store. So that's also a requirement. So if you don't have an Amazon account that is based on the United States, you might not be able to download Android apps on your Windows computer right now. In the future, that might change. But this is the first preview and that's what Microsoft has for requirements. So in order to install the Android app platform on Windows 11, the only thing you need to do is to install the Amazon App Store app that will also install the Windows system for Android on your computer. And as you can see on my computer, even though the device meets all the minimal requirements and all the settings are enabled for some reason, it says that this app will not work on your device. So to get around that, what you can also do is to download the Windows system for Android with the Amazon App Store application from the Microsoft Store if that's available to you. But what I did in my case was to use this website and I pasted the link for the application and I downloaded it by clicking this option right here. And then I use PowerShell, this command right here, to force the installation. But if everything works well on your computer, the only thing you have to do is just to click the install button from the Microsoft Store. When the store is installed on the computer, also the uh, Windows subsystem for Android is going to install and it will appear on the all apps list on the start menu. As you can see now we have the, the Amazon App Store and we can also jump to the Windows subsystem for Android. And this is the settings page where you can control different settings. You can even use this option to run the subsystem resources continuously without 
using a lot of power. So it's very efficient. But you can also use it the default option, which is the as needed. So only when you need to run the application, the subsystem resources are going to run. So now to install an application, you only need to do is to open the Amazon App Store, which right now doesn't have too many apps. I, I believe it's only around 50 and pretty much all of them are games. And to install the application, the only thing you need to do is just to select the app and click the get button. I'm running the experience with the minimal requirements and it is inside another virtual machine. So the experience is not that great. And as you can see, now we're running an Android app on Windows 11. Let me just install another app. Let's do a game. Now the game has been installed and then we're just going to click open. And the game is going to run on Windows 11. So we can even run them side by side with other Windows 11 applications. And that's all there is to it. That's how you set up and install Android apps on Windows 11 using the Windows Subsystem for Android and the Amazon App Store. It is important to note that on this video I had to use a workaround to force the installation of the platform, but that shouldn't be the case on your device if it meets the minimal requirements. You should just be able to be able to click the install button for the Amazon App Store and that should install the App Store and the Windows subsystem for Android. But if you know that the computer meets all the requirements, you can use the workaround that I showed earlier on the video. And in the case that you can't run the command, make sure that you're opening PowerShell using the administrator option. And also make sure that on the settings app, on privacy and on the for developers page, make sure that you have the developer mode enabled. And that's it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.